What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. Welcome back to the United States of Joe Winko. So the winner of last episode's trivia question was Mark. So congratulations to Mark. He's going to be the mayor of my next city along Interstate 95. And that city is going to be right here. And it's going to be called Boston, Massachusetts. So let's get this party started. Yeah, so I actually was supposed to make this episode a lot earlier today. It's like 10 o'clock right now. Well, it's not. Oh, wait, no, it isn't 10 o'clock yet. It's like 9.56 p.m. where I live. Oh, wait, something's weird with the sound. Hold on one sec. Okay, I got it now. Um, so, what I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, I was saying that, like, I was actually supposed to make this episode of the United States of Joe Winko a lot earlier today, but the reason why it took me so long to get to filming it is because it took me forever to render all the buildings. I don't know why it took so long. It took longer than usual. Well, also because there was some other stuff I was doing, too. I was actually watching The Sopranos on DVD while I was waiting for it to, uh, while I was waiting for all the buildings to render so I can use them in SimCity 4. I thought it was funny. Well, it's not funny what happens on The Sopranos, but you have to remember that it's just a TV show. Well, uh, not really, actually. A lot of it's real, but a lot of it... Like, it's based off of real stuff, but, uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> I really just shouldn't talk at all. Uh, where's the... Isn't there supposed to be a road connecting? Hold on one sec. I should have sworn I built a highway going through this. Now I can't find it. Okay, hold on. There's one thing I need to check up on. Hopefully my game doesn't crash. Gonna have to zoom over to another city real quick. Okay, didn't crash. Alright, so this is one city I built off the record, Massachusetts. I crowned myself as the mayor. Yeah, this is Interstate... 90 it's supposed to be going to why the fuck didn't it connect sometimes this game gets on my nerves gosh no it's just a pc game but no, it doesn't matter i can just all right would you like to to create a connection to sim nation no fucking shit sherlock that's why i built the highway so close to the fucking border <laughs> darn i have been watching too many too much sopranos i'm starting to talk like them now well, I don't talk exactly like them. They don't talk in Midwestern accents. They talk in that, uh, what is it? The New York accents or the Yankee accents? That's what I call them. The Yankee accents. Like the, I park my car in the Harvard Yard. That kind of accent. All right, let me save and exit to the region. Again, hope it doesn't crash on me. Okay, it didn't crash on me. Alright, so back to... Uh, I haven't even named the city yet. Well, duh, I haven't named it. Okay, finally, we have Interstate 90 coming from this end. Because to the west of this is Massachusetts. Well, even though this is Massachusetts too, this is Boston. The other city is just named Massachusetts, because I couldn't think of what to name it. Could have named it Springfield, but... uh. There's so many Springfield. I already have a city named Springfield. Alright, and then there's Interstate 95 right there. 
So, yeah. Okay, so Boston Mare name Mark M. So congratulations to Mark for becoming the mayor of Boston. I really appreciate it. Re really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, so guys, make sure to answer the trivia questions so you can become the mayor of my next city in the United States of Joe Winko. I'm trying to build like audience audience participation here. I mean, doesn't that what isn't that what makes YouTube videos so fun when you can have audience participation? Anyone appreciate that? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, so there's like a new layout I've been making at for cities. Uh I'm gonna build like a circle. Like, I did this for uh, Toronto, too, but I'm going to try doing it for, if I can do it, because this game is being a bitch right now. Not letting me build a highway going this way. All right, now it is, finally. I try not to build too much, many diagonal interstates because those can't connect well. Well, they can connect, but the thing is, uh, All right, I think I got it. Yep, I got it. All right, so that's the circle I made around Boston. I don't know, I guess I can call it like the Boston Turnpike or something. It's where Interstate 90 is gonna end. Well, the Eastern end of Interstate 90, that's what I should say. Interstate 90 is actually the longest interstate in like the country. And I-95 is actually the longest vertical interstate, but Interstate 90 is actually longer than I-95. Let me turn down the sound a little bit so you guys can hear me ramble. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually listen to me ramble during my United States of Joe Winko live streams. You know what? I'm just going to build a whole interstate. I'm just going to build Interstate 90 cutting straight through here. All right, Cloverleaf intersection. Yeah, it's going to be a weird setup, but it isn't too bad. I don't like the way that turned out. Hold on. Wanted to have another clover leaf intersection. And then. What the hell? Why didn't it. I guess I have to manually add one. Yep, I did. Alright, so. Now ground level highway. And then after that, it turns into an avenue. All right, and that's where Interstate 90 ends, or begins, whatever way you want to put it. <laughs> and another road going north, well, an avenue going north. When it's double-sided like that, it's an avenue.
Uh, no, I... Yeah, this will work. Just wondering how I'm going to connect I-95 to all this. Oh wait, I know how I can. I guess, I don't know. I never really planned the roads out that well, as you guys probably... Oh shit, did not mean to do that. Want, I didn't want it to be a ground highway, I wanted it to be a elevated highway, shit. I gotta pay attention to what I do. Alright, now it's an elevated highway. Almost all of my highways in the United States of Joe Winko are elevated. Like, in real life, they're really not like that. It's like, uh, you get like a mixture of both of them. So otherwise, it'd be like too expensive to build like elevated highways. Oh, crap. Been so busy rambling that I missed the direction that I was supposed to end this at. So I'll just tear all that down. And then. Okay, so that could be part of I 95. And then this right here. Can be wait no 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 not there this can be where i-95 continues north and we got it let me give them more access to i-95 there's so much more stuff i need to add to the city by the way but i always like taking care of the roads first I want them, my goal is to have like all the roads be connected. Ugh, have to add some tunnels. I hate adding the tunnels, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, the city to the west of this is like very mountainous. I mean, more mountainous than the West Virginia part of this map. Weird. That's what. That's one thing I notice when when uh terrains. I th I think I'm pronouncing that word right. Hopefully I am. Otherwise I just made myself look like a dumbass. But I do that all the time anyway. Um, <laughs> when uh terrains are like uh when terrains are like very mountainous and like rocky and steep, it's much more difficult to to build stuff on them that's why there's like so few people living in west virginia because it's so because all the mountains are so steep and rocky and everything i mean not rocky but like so steep and elevated and yeah it's weird how that state is set up all right it added on ramps okay that's good want all the roads to be connected, so... Not sure where this road is gonna go. Oh wait, I know. Gonna have it curve that way. We actually have a lot of space here. Damn. Much more space than I had in my other cities that I made off the record. More than Rhode Island and, uh... God damn it, I hate those. Wait, I have an idea. Just gonna build... Elevated highway. Like, I hate it when, like, uh, it adds, like, the highway entrance ramp, but it only has one side. Like, this is a double-sided one, but earlier it only gave me the option to have just one side. That, that, I don't know why that irks me when that happens. Irks me. Well, I wonder if that's, am I, am I, am I saying that word right? I don't know. I was up all night because my sleeping schedule is whack. Well, no, actually, it's because my blood sugar went high. I can't sleep when my blood sugar is high. Uh, I mean, back when I was a little kid, I didn't. That I never really noticed that, but now that's what happens when my blood sugar goes high. 
it stops me from falling asleep. I mean, it's bad enough that I have, like, autism that makes it difficult for me to fall asleep at night, but for that to happen too, I'm just like, what the fuck? Eh, it doesn't matter. Heart's still beating. And I will be playing SimCity 4 until then. <laughs> well, actually, I, I, like, the thing about me and video games, like, uh, when I play a video game, or, like, regardless of what it is, whether it's, like, The Sims or SimCity 4, I can't play them for very long. Well, uh, I mean, depending on what's your definition of very long. I had, like, a seven, I think the longest gaming live stream I did was, like, seven hours long. Yeah, it was seven hours long, a little, almost eight hours of me playing, well, I did two live streams that were seven hours long. One of me beating all the main quests in Elder Scrolls Oblivion, and another one of me playing The Sims 2. That's a fun game, I really need to get back to that. Um, I wanted to make the... Shit, cannot make a road going that way. Yeah, because it doesn't connect to anything, that's why. Oh, I can build a road to Cape Cod. I didn't really think that area would have much space in it. No, but I'll see. Yeah, Connecticut is the city that's to the south of here. I know in real life Connecticut is a state, but in the United States of Joe Winko, uh, Connecticut's a city. Because, like, the... Because the area that is... This map is scaled down. It's not the actual size of the real USA. Otherwise, that would take me forever to finish. I mean, this one is taking me forever to finish. I mean, it's been, like, two years and I still haven't filled up all of the squares yet for all the cities all over the map. I plan on doing that eventually, though. Well, yeah... Because uh, it's a contest. I wanted to... I was trying to figure out, like... I wanted to, like... Give, like, a prize to the person who wins. Who answers all the trivia questions correctly. But I'm not sure how to do that, though. Like... I don't really want to have to ask someone, like... Hey, you answered all the trivia questions correctly. Give me your address so I can send you something in the mail. Because I just think that would be, like, kind of, I don't know, kind of, like, I think that might be, like, a little bit uncomfortable, or, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Like, kind of the word I'm looking for. Like, I don't think anyone would be comfortable giving their address out online so I could send them something in the mail. Even though, like, it wouldn't be anything bad, but also, like, the fact that it might leak or something, I don't know. Well, that wouldn't happen, but... Yeah. I was, uh, asking online, is there, like, a way where you could send packages in the mail to people online without either of them <laughs> knowing your address? Like, imagine if there was, like, a company or something, which, uh... Which said, oh, you want to deliver this package to this person, um, but you don't want them to know your address, and you don't want to know their address either. Sure, we can do that. Just send it to our address, and then we'll send it to their address when they sign up on our site and give us their address. You won't see it, but the company that would be in charge of that would. I'm not sure if that made sense, but that was just one ideal I had. And it turns out nothing like that actually exists online. You know, they say they always say you can find anything on the internet. It, it pisses me off so much, because I, I kind of know that's, like, a damn lie, really. I mean, and that's not even the only example I have of it, too. Another really annoying thing that people always say that really pisses me off is that whatever you post online is up online forever and never goes away and it's up there forever for everyone to see. That pisses me off so... 
Okay, excuse excuse me for swearing. I spent so much time watching The Sopranos. I can't help it now. I'm starting to sound like Tony Soprano. That pisses me off so fucking much because it's not fucking true. I did a whole episode of Joe Winko talk about this a long time ago. I used to have a series on YouTube. It was a comedy series that I worked really hard on. Well, like it wasn't like I was like slaving away at it, but it was a lot of fun making it. And it was about like, it was about me and this, I get him, like no one wants to be friends with me at all. And my only friend I have is my Ken doll. So then I find this magic spell online to turn him into a real person. But the spell takes like 10 years to take effect. And then I just kind of forget about him. But then 10 years later, all of a sudden, like this guy pops up and he's the Ken doll who I brought to life. And then he says, oh, I have to be best friends with you forever. And then he follows me around everywhere and it gets really annoying. And eventually we do become best friends. But the thing is, in every single episode, he does a lot of stupid stuff that keeps getting me in trouble. And it's kind of like a it was supposed to be a comedy. It's not not nothing scary. But uh, I remember I made that and I was and I posted it on YouTube. It was way back in 2006 and 2007. And it got quite a lot of attention, and I just felt so proud of myself because of that. And people were, were typing in on my videos, OMG, these are so funny, OMG, I love these, these are so awesome. And, oh yeah, let me show you guys a closer look. That's my Welcome to Massachusetts sign that I made for SimCity 4. I better save. Oh gosh, I still haven't even added any people yet. Well, I need to add all the landmarks first. Um, Now I just need to label the highways, so... Yeah, but eventually what ended up happening... Um, this was, again, this was back in 2007. YouTube was, like, losing a lot of money for some reason. And then uh, later on, like, they started deleting channels that weren't active... And I had it posted on a separate channel for my Scary Movies channel. Because I figured... I don't know why I did that either. But uh, well, I couldn't decide what my username should be. That's why. And then they deleted my one channel when I took a break from making the episodes of the comedy show. And I was so pissed off about that. I put those signs in the wrong place. That's not Interstate 95. That's Interstate 90. Okay, where are the 90 signs? 75, 65, 94, 10. I made so many damn mods in this game. Like, it's hard to keep up with all of them because it just throws them all out there. 29, 49, 44. Here's 90. All right, there. I always want to, like, properly label my interstates. Even though, like, the Sims don't give a shit. They just use them because it's the fastest way. People in real life don't give a shit how awesome the interstate system really is. But the thing is, like, the interstate system, it's different from... I heard a lot of people tell me that the back roads are actually the best because you get to see more of the country and you actually go through them, through more of the country, too. Um, and that's actually true, because interstates are, in a way, they're kind of designed to get, to get you to point A to point B as fast as possible. Like, it's not, like, sometimes it can be scenic, like, Interstate 75, when you're going through Kentucky, oh, that is beautiful. Like, up in the mountains on Interstate 75, I wonder if I-95 has anything like that. I didn't think I-75 could surpass Interstate Interstate 95 in beauty, but from what I've seen on Interstate 75 compared to what I've seen on 95, and don't get me wrong, I still love Interstate 95, and but Interstate 75 is, like, beautiful, really. Okay, so I got the highways built and got those signs put up. Now let me put the skyscrapers up. How many skyscrapers do I have? 
All right, the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, John, John Hancock Tower, the Boston uh, Prudential Tower, I don't know how to pronounce that, and the Massachusetts State Capitol, so that'd be four. All right, well, let me find them. I have, like, so many buildings. Pittsburgh, nope, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Here's one of the buildings. I'll just throw this one to the side right here. I never put them in like their accurate locations, but I don't really think anyone gives a shit. I just I just figured people would think it's cool enough that I actually have the buildings in the game. Well, that I actually made the buildings in the well, I tech I didn't make them. I just downloaded them from 3D Warehouse and imported them into SimCity 4. All right, there's the first building. Let me save. I'm not so I'm not going to start zoning anything until I have like all four of the buildings put in. So that's the um which building was that? Oh, that's a Prudential Tower. I wonder what they use that thing for. So next is the John Hancock Tower and the Federal Reserve Bank. All right, I should know that one when I see it. Yeah, there's also the state, the capital. I should definitely know that when I see it. Philadelphia, nope, that's not it. Yeah, these these whole all these decorations and everything I have installed, they aren't like really. I don't know. I can't tell what order they're arranged in. It'd be it'd be so much easier if I did. Oh wait, the Boston M A Federal Reserve Bank. Yep, that's it. That's one of them, I should say. Okay, so let me put that right here. Let me build a road around it. <laughs> Let me turn up the music. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Alright, let me save again. And let me build a frontage road. That's when you, uh, like a frontage road is like a road that runs, that's usually what they call it when the road is like running parallel to the highway. More entrance ramps for Interstate 90. And are, should I put a, I'm gonna put down another sign there too. Oh, but first, let me put this somewhere. It's a huge lot, though. Yeah, the Massachusetts State Capitol. Oh, wait, where the hell are the trees? <laughs> I thought I added a lot of trees to that lot. Eh, whatever, it still looks pretty nonetheless. I'm just happy that it actually imported right. Okay, so I got the Massachusetts State Capitol. All I'm missing is the John Hancock Tower. That's like I that's like a tall blue building. And I think I passed it not it's not the Philadelphia Tower Tower, cuz that's the one I thought it was at first. Not the Atlanta Tower. Oh damn, where is that? All right, the Boston MA. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, that's a thing about... Okay, I think I found it. Yep, that's it. The Hancock Tower. 
I'll just place it right... I'll just place it right there. Actually, no, I don't like that. Let me tear it down. I want to put it somewhere so it's not, like, blocking, like, a view at all. Oh, this is fine enough. Even though it kind of is blocking the view if I decide to zone some spaces there. It'll be fine. Alright, so I have all the buildings. I probably should have put them in closer promox, prox, proximity. Proximity. Now I'm starting to sound like Donald Trump. I can't think of what word to say. Well, at least I know how to say anonymous, so... <laughs> oh my gosh. Please remind me to never compare myself to Donald Trump. What the fuck did I just do? I obviously did not get enough sleep last night. <laughs> gosh. Alright, so... Now we need to add the necessities. First... Uh, the garbage disposal, well, a recycling center, two recycling centers, and garbage chute, it's a mod I downloaded that gets rid of all the trash so I don't have to add landfill zones. Mod is a lifesaver, really. And I should probably add a bus stop by here too, because I think the Sims actually do go to the go to the um, recycling centers to work. So we still have no one living here yet. Well, I'll have to add them then. First, I want to add more access to the interstate. Okay, so now let me label the interstate again. I like for my cities to look pretty. I think the interstate shields are pretty too. Even though most people think nothing of them. It's the beauty of having autism. You get to appreciate things that normal minded people do not give a shit about. I mean, I'm so glad I, you know, I'm honestly glad that I actually have autism, and I'm and I'm obviously not ashamed of it either, otherwise I wouldn't be talking about it so much in every single one of my videos. <laughs> you know, one person actually asked me that. They asked me, are you ashamed of having autism? And I'm like, uh, are you serious? Do you, like, enjoy asking, like, blatantly obvious questions? Because some people actually do. Maybe that person had autism. Okay, so let's start zoning. I'm going to zone medium density commercial like all over here. And all around the Capitol building. And all over here, let me dezone this because I goofed up there. All right, now it's back in order. And I'm just going to build a road around this. That's what I was planning on doing anyway. And I need, they need electricity also. And bus stops so the Sims can get there. Yeah, because the Sims won't start moving in until they have electricity. And nothing will be built until they have electricity. Okay, so bus stop here. Bus stop there. Bus stop there. Bus stop there. 
parking garage there, parking garage there, parking garage there, parking garage there. Wind turbine there, wind turbine there, wind turbine there, wind turbine there. Water tower here. Parking garage there, bus stop there, and now got to make sure they're all getting their water. Okay, they all are. Let me just save real quick. Now I need to add some uh, like residential zones. So I'll zone like residential, high density residential all over here. Cause I want Boston to be a like pretty populated city. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Then I definitely need to add the necessities. And convert all those streets into roads since it's high density residential. Okay, so next convert all of these streets into roads. I wonder if there was just like something I could click to like choose to like zone with roads instead of streets. I should like look into that early. Oh, people are already starting to. Sims are already starting to move in. Okay, so need to throw down the necessities like a huge hospital right here and a couple clinics here. In there and water pump here and water pipes and another bus stop I need to add some schools too. So I'm going to build a road around this. <laughs> this is beautiful. And someone once told me that all my cities in the United States of Joe Winko are the same. What a fucking liar. I mean, seriously? Fine, if you want to think that, go right ahead. And, you know, they probably think all the cities in the USA are the same, too. Trust me, they're definitely not. Hopefully you guys are smart. I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to know that, though. Oh, I, al I already unlocked the large high school? I'm gonna put a library there. And I unlocked the large elementary school. Damn. It must be, like... The city's growing. Oh yeah, the population's at 8,000, that's why. Uh, I'll put the college right here. Oh, yeah, I need to make sure the schools are receiving the proper funding, otherwise they're gonna suck. All right, the hospital and elementary school are all getting the proper funding they need now. And now I just need to build a police station. I'll put that right there. And a couple more wind turbines.
All right, so we're at a population of 9,645. And it's about to go up. Like, because there's so much space to add more stuff. So we have 11,000 sims so far. Let me add some high density commercial. Here, high density commercial. There. And here. Those shouldn't take long. Yeah, I forgot. I was going to check if I could zone like with streets instead of road. I mean with roads instead of streets. Definitely need to add some bus stops. Oh yeah, they're not building anything there yet because they have no power. Okay, so built some high density, I mean zoned some high density residential, I mean, and some high density commercial, so the Sims have a place to work. Let me just save it real quick. I want it to be like a major city. I want to at least reach 50,000 Sims as a population. So far, I'm only at like 11,000 of that, um, 11,000 sims. I'll reach it. There's so much space here, too. Oh, I can just zone like a huge... Wait, let me see. Let me see if there's a way you could um you could zone with str with roads instead. Like is there a button you push? Zone with roads, Sim City 4. Let me see if there's a way you could. Some people have been posting about that. Oh, okay, so they said click and hold. All right, so there's a huge space of residential. Do I have to redo them all into streets? Uh, yeah, I do have to redo them all into roads. 
No problem. <laughs> they need power, so they're not going to build anything till I add in wind turbines. I'm happy with the way this turned out, at least. Oh, we have a population of 22,000 now. Damn. Yeah, the city is definitely, definitely is going to get big because, like, all the flat land they have here. When the city has, like, flatter land, uh, they tend to grow faster. Okay, so that turned out well. Give them more access to Interstate 95. Built the roads up. Gonna have to add a few necessities around this area, too. But let's not forget to, na to label my beautiful highways with my beautiful highway signs. I-95. So... Clinic here. Oh wow, I was able to cover the whole space. Oh yeah, that was another mod I had installed that lets that has it do that. And a large high school all the way on the other top side of the town, kinda. I mean, well this part of the space. And an elementary school. College. Fire safety. Oh yeah, I was able to cover it. Large police station. And a Trinity Hospital right there. And let's throw in a couple bus stops right here. In a parking garage. Yeah, trying to reduce as much traffic as possible. Sometimes that just isn't possible in Sim City 4 because the Sims act stupid anyway. Do 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 do. <laughs> Still love the music in this game. Okay, so now we'll need to add the wind turbines so these places will start building up, and they will start building up.
Okay, so now build the water pipes going all over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll definitely easily hit a population of 50,000 sims. Oh, I should put some more libraries in now that I think of it. Did I put any libraries in? Oh wait, yeah, there's a library there. Well, duh, I just put one in. And let's have them all move in. All right, they're slowly starting to. Not sure how much these wind turbines keep the place powered. Oh yeah, that's one thing I need to check on. Okay, so let me zone a huge chunk of high-density commercial here. Yep, and they're already swarming the place. Damn, the city's growing fast. I mean, I do have it on cheetah speed, but still. I don't know why, I feel like it's early morning and not night at all. Weird. It's only like 10, 19 p.m. right now. I was supposed to do a Sims 2 live stream today, but I got sidetracked working on other stuff. You know, I'm, I am proud of myself today because I kept myself busy. That always helps me. Like when I just, when I like let my mind wander, that I get... I, that happens to me a lot where I'll just like pace around and let my mind wander a lot. That's not always good, really. Oh, it looks like all the Sims are moving in. Let me add a park. That always motivates them to move in. How about a skate rink? That'd be nice. Did I unlock anything? Oh yeah, the mayor's house. Let me put that right there. Right next to a medium plaza. What else did I unlock? A house of worship. I think I would have room to put that somewhere. Right there. And a mayor statue. I'll put that right there. Oh, an impressive mirror statue. Put that right there. And a radio station. <laughs> Cannot forget that. I love how they add radio stations. We have 67,000 Sims living here. Um, so let me zone some more medium density residential around the fire station. 
around this bus stop. And damn, these buildings are t towering up. Now we have 72,000 Sims living here. Gosh. I unlocked a university and a city hall, television studio, resort hotel. Let me put the city hall. Let me put that by the skyscrapers. I think that'd be a more appropriate place for it. Right on this avenue. And gosh, I didn't know notice how much open space was out by the skyscrapers. That's where like all this city hub is supposed to be. And there's no electricity. That's why there's no one there. Assuming there's no water either. Just gonna have to add some water pipes. Yeah, I truly never plan these cities at all. Well, I do. Well, I kind of plan them. I plan on what road, I mean, what buildings I'm putting in. So that counts as something, I guess. But I don't ever map out, like, exactly how I want the city to look before I start building it. Well, who does that in the first place anyway? <laughs> I mean, come on. SimCity 4. I mean, yeah, if you're building, like, a real city, you would map it out, but not in this game. Okay. And being... Yeah, I'm tired and trying to think of stuff to talk about right now. To make this more enter entertaining for you guys. I mean, interesting for you guys. Oh my gosh, Joe Winko. He's building another city in the United States of Joe Winko. Awesome. That's what I want you all to be saying, honestly. <laughs> huh. Any guy can dream, can he? All right, so I got all of that. Ooh, wow. They're building. gonna throw some more wind turbines another bus oh yeah I, I also unlocked a university for this city remind me to put that down and a television studio seventy six thousand sims And there's still so much space left. <laughs> These Massachusetts signs. I love them. Let me take a picture of this. Alright. Snap a picture of the Massachusetts sign. Let me snap a picture of what I have so far and... Boston, Massachusetts. As you can see, there's like a lot of space left. And the buildings haven't even started growing that tall yet. Weird, because I zoned high density everywhere.
Okay, so... More wind turbines. Aw, they like it here. They're launching fireworks. <laughs> I feel so proud of myself. With our 77,000 population. Oh, wow. Let me see if I could build a road going from here to there. Yep, I can. And they all got their water taken care of. Need to add more bus stops. <laughs> Definitely. So the traffic isn't horrible. Okay, got that added. built up really damn there's a thousand people living in that building <laughs> well the more sims that want to live here the more stuff they're gonna build the more everything's gonna sprout up So I'm just going to build this road. Okay. Let's build some more high density residential. Yep, here they all come. And add a whole bunch of wind turbines so they all have electricity. Because I think the more like uh, electricity power you have, like the bigger the buildings get. I just thought of that part on Fear of the Walking Dead when the zombies were spreading all over Los Angeles and like it was at night and then you see the sky they show up the skyline of Los Angeles and all the lights shut off and all the buildings and then I I remember I was watching that with my adoptive parents back in 2015 and I said to my adoptive parents, I never seen Los Angeles like that before. Then my adoptive parents said, yeah, and if you ever see Los Angeles like that, you better start running. <laughs> it's true. That'd freak me out if that happened in real life. All right, so they have like more than enough... Uh...
Looks like the residential demand is going up. The Sims need more places to live. Let me see, see how the schools are. They have 514 students at that high school. What about the elementary school? I, I can't even find the elementary school. Well, where is it? Because I know I put a large elementary school down. Oh damn, I really can't find that. I know it's nearby. I mean, I should be able to... It's probably like right around somewhere. It's probably that I'm so tired I can't even <laughs> focus right. Alright, I know how to find it. Education. There it is, right there. Right, they have 1,678 students, but they have a student capacity of 300, 323, wait, no, 32,399. Okay. So they're not even like halfway to capacity. Oh wow, created a roundabout. Now I just need to make some more wind turbines so the buildings get huge. <laughs> oh, this is turning out perfectly. We have a population of 86,000 sims. Not like record level yet, but... Oh yeah, I need to figure out a place where to... Yeah, I need to put the university. Almost forgot that. Can I put... Can I fit it here? Oh yeah, I can fit it. and more wind turbines around it. zone some more high density residential I'm just gonna fill up this spot right here and see how see how much it brings the population up but first I need to add a bus it a bus stop well multiple ones because I don't want them to get again I don't want like bad traffic at all All right, so this is looking nice. Uh, no one moved in yet, but they will be here soon. Hmm. 
Yep, here they all come. Oh, wow. Forgot to get them their water. Right now they're getting water. Oh, we have 90,000 Sims living here. And let me give them more access to Interstate 95, too. Because I'm assuming they need it. And let me put a label on Interstate 95. Oh, now we have 92,000 Sims. And we put another fire station and another library and more schools. Oh, wow, they already filled that up. <laughs> 96,364. Let me see if I could get that to 100,000 Sims. I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> Just gonna wait for that to fill up. This game gets me hyped. Like, you tell the sims where to move and then they all move in and then you see it build up to a huge sprawling metropolis it's, it's amazing really the city actually is starting to remind me of uh richmond virginia it's that city that i built grew really fast because it had so much open space and flat lands So it is, it can be a challenge sometime because the, the terrain makes it difficult, but it's not too bad. Like in the next city to the west of this, in the Massachusetts city, like it's so rocky and mountainous, like as I showed you guys, you guys saw some of it earlier. All right, now we're at 98,000 sims. Hopefully we make it to 100. And I should add another bus stop so they have ways to commute around. Does anyone actually use I... Oh wait, they do use I-95, awesome exactly as they should. And there's still so much space up here, too. You know, um, I'm actually, I have an idea of what I could add. I'm gonna add, like, a ferry. Like a car and passenger ferry terminal. So the Sims could ride back and forth from where they work at. I mean, from where they live. I'm pretty sure there's some Sims that live in Long Island who work in Liberty City. I mean, not Liberty City, but in Boston. Because I did add a ferry terminal there also 
but I forgot that I made that city off the record. And it keeps telling me that it's too steep. What the fuck? Terrain is too steep. Alright, well, I'll build a seaport instead. I'm thinking I should add an airport, too. Alright, I was able to have a seaport. What that does is that, like, that's so, like, that you could deliver, like, freight and everything. Let me see. Just had to turn the camera for a second. Usually always try to stay here. Yeah, but The Sopranos, that is a pretty intense show. What I was planning on doing um, was actually doing like a whole like talking, a whole series of me talking about each of The Sopranos episodes and analyzing them uh, on YouTube. I think that'd be pretty interesting. I mean, back when I was a little kid, I never really thought of The Sopranos that much. I just knew it was like a very serious show. And I, I don't know why, but back when I was a little kid, I wasn't into it. But nowadays, I think it's awesome. Darn, it still isn't letting me do that. Well, I think I know one thing I could do. Yeah, I just gotta rough up the land a bit. Now I should be able to fit the terminal. Oh, I still can't fit it. Oh wait, yeah I can. Never mind. <laughs> awesome! And let me add a road. Okay, awesome. Got it. Let's probably add a bus stop there, too. That'd be a smart idea. So when the Sims come to work, like in Boston, they can just get on the bus and go to where they need to go. All right, so Boston, Massachusetts, it's looking good so far. Let me see what I unlocked, what else I unlocked. Ooh, the private school. I could just put that right here.
All right, now... I know there's some more stuff I unlocked. Oh, the main library. Put that right there. And a cemetery. Don't really want to add that right now. Oh, the courthouse. Let me put that by the library. That's how it was in Wisconsin. And the television studio. Put that by the courthouse. Let me zone some high density residential. More wind turbines. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay, so... Um... I'll put another elementary school here. Just for the hell of it. Oh yeah, and let me have them get more connection so they don't have to... And I should probably add another bus stop, uh, another bus term station to, I mean, bus stop too. Okay, that works. Heh. <laughs> They all moved in. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So. Still think it's weird that the trees that I added to this lot aren't here at all. But it doesn't matter. There's still so much space, too. Yep, those are my sims, always building new stuff in the United States of Joe Winko. Just gonna take some more pictures of the city. I wanna take a picture of what it looks like right now. <laughs> that looks nice. Let me see how the traffic is. Oh yeah, some of the roads are a bit congested. Well, that's life, though. So, um, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to save and end this part of the playthrough right here. 
So thanks so much to Mark for answering this episode's trivia question correctly and for becoming the mayor of Boston, Massachusetts. I really appreciate it. And yeah, it's always a lot of fun when you guys answer the trivia questions because I really want more people to get involved and start answering the trivia questions um, so I can keep crowning people as the mayors and everything because I have been keeping track of all the people who answer the trivia question correctly and I know who's in the lead in the competition and everything so uh yeah I hope you guys all liked this episode of the United States of Joe Winko and don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter Instagram and Tumblr and don't forget to answer this episode's trivia question correctly so you can become the mayor of my next city in the United States to Joe Winko. And that's it. Peace out, people. This episode's trivia question. What was the name of the town that Joe Winko was sent away to in Joe Winko's 2014 Sims 2 slasher film, Fresh Apple Massacre? Answer this question in the comments. The first person to comment the correct answer will be crowned the mayor in my next city of the United States of Joe Winko. Please also mention the name you want to be listed as. Remember, you must use the same name at all times. That is it. Peace out, people.